The question being that if you're taking these former satellites of the Soviet Union and saying, come into NATO, which means we're promising them military assistance if Russia tries to take them back or push in, that could be seen as poking Russia right in the eye. Bob's got strong views on this. I know. I just I don't I don't want to say we should stop taking in new countries, but I think the way in which we do it has to be handled carefully. Bob, look, I we obviously have to have some kind of relationship with Russia, but it's going to be different now after they've invaded a sovereign country on their borders. And I think we should spend a little less time worrying about whether we're poking the Russians in the eye and more on the fact that they have sent tanks and troops into a neighboring country. We as the United States. I think, have to be able to come to defend those like Ukraine, like the Baltics, and other nations that are frontline states against what appears to be an expansionist Russia. I want you to look at a new poll here um, taken uh, in July. Who would do the best job making wise decisions about foreign policy? McCain, 43 percent. Obama, 42 percent. This was done by the Pew Research Center. Uh, Michael, this seems to represent something of a shift. It wasn't that many months ago when people hands down said McCain knew more about foreign policy, was better on foreign policy. Uh, this obviously doesn't reflect these latest events. But why do you suppose that would be happening? I don't know, and I don't know how much to trust any one given poll. I do think, overall, that Obama's, some of Obama's thinking on foreign policy is fairly sound, and he has a strong team of advisors. I have big concerns about his Iraq views, and for me, my problems are very specific to that. I think his broader approach to his foreign trip was pretty good. Uh, I think his policy towards Afghanistan and Pakistan is pretty good. He used to talk about negotiating with Ahmadinejad in Iran and such leaders. Now he's pulled back a bit and says only after proper preparation. Uh, so I think on most things he's looking pretty good. I don't think his initial comment on Georgia was very strong, and I don't think his Iraq policy is You very brought strong. up Iraq, and, and that's an important point here, because Vladimir Putin and many pundits have said both the candidates, George Bush, everybody, has their legs cut out from him a little, uh, them a little bit because of the Iraq war, because the United States went into a country without waiting for this gigantic UN consensus to say, let's go. So how Russia itself says, how do you criticize us? We're protecting our national interests too. Is this a real problem, Bob? Not really, and I wouldn't say even many pundits have said that. Uh, if you look at what's happening in Europe right now, which is where this, this whole uh, action is taking place, uh, European leaders are condemning uh, Moscow's action uh, from the British government to the Swedish government. Uh, there's, there's pretty good, I mean, there's some difference of opinion about exactly how to move, but there's very strong transatlantic unity condemning this action, and no one is raising uh, Iraq or anything else. Uh, people could see the difference between what Russia has done uh, and what the United States and many any European allies did in Iraq. Do you think people can see the difference? Because certainly some people who are enemies of George Bush or don't like this White House say there's not much of a difference. They're, they're, I mean, they're bothered by it. They're bothered by what Russia did, but they're equally bothered by what we've done in Iraq. I would say with both Iraq and the case of Kosovo, which is something Russia invokes a lot as an analogy here, we dealt with brutal dictators. There was a question about whether we had gone through all the proper diplomatic preparation. I do not think George W. Bush did a great job of preparing the groundwork for the Iraq war. But, but come on, we overthrew a guy who had killed a million people. As, and, opposed and, to, as opposed to essentially a territory dispute of some sort. Exactly. And a far lower level of violence, regardless of who fired which right. shot first. Good explanation. Michael, good to be here. Bob, nice having you in.